Hello everyone, this is going to be a 140 Q&A test. Plaintiff attorney is Mr. Fruche, F-R-U-C-H-E-Y. Defense attorney is Mr. Fresno, F-R-E-S-N-O. Again, plaintiff attorney, Mr. Fruche, F-R-U-C-H-E-Y. And defense is Mr. Fresno, F-R-E-S-N-O. And this is going to start with plaintiff attorney. Ready? Your Honor, if I might, if you want me to keep going, I have Mr. Stevens here. If you want me to solicit the testimony from her, then maybe we could avoid that. Avoid what? Avoid having to call him and the time and expense in that. She's indicated on her income and expense sheet that his income is $6,200 a month. We can take that as testimony. I don't need anything else out of Mr. Stevens. That's on your income and expense sheet. I'm going to accept that. Mr. Fresno, thank you. How long were you married to Mr. Neems? You mean up to this point in time or until the separation? Before the separation, five and a half years. And during that period of time, were you employed? Just for about the last year of our marriage. I was working when we were married initially, but not most... When did you first start going to work for Buyer's Mortgage? January 27, 2009. And did you go to work at the request of Mr. Neems? Yes, he wanted a second income in the home. Okay, and did you stay home prior to that because of the requirements to stay with your child, your two children? Well, by the time we stopped and figured out how much it would cost for daycare and two children and travel expenses and working and everything, we would be in the hole with me working. It would be cheaper for me to stay home. Okay, now, do you have any idea how much overtime you've earned in the last year? I have no idea. And do you believe that it would be more than 20 hours of overtime? On one pay period? No, collectively for a one-year period. For one year, yes. Do you think it might be over 20 hours? Do you think it would be over 50 hours? Counsel, I'll accept her testimony that there's a freeze on overtime right now unless there's evidence to the contrary all right thank you your honor i think the real issue is the cohabitation issue and the code presumption would you like to address that yes we'll go ahead and address our examination to that thank you your honor now how long have you known mr stevens I've known him since about a week after starting with the company. We worked together. Now you've testified that you have no plans to marry him. Why is that? I will never, ever get married again. Isn't he also married currently? Yes, he is. Does he have obligations to support some other family members? Yes, he does. And do you know if... Much about Paul Stevens' financial status. Yes, I do. Do you know if he currently is under levy for back taxes? Yes, he is. He's paying on that now. Now, do you sometimes stay away from your home overnight? Sometimes with my mother or my sister. So this, you wouldn't characterize this relationship as any kind of a permanent relationship? Not with what I've been putting the household through lately, no. Do you know if Mr. Stevens has applied for a divorce recently? 
not to my knowledge. Now, did you rent this home that you have three bedrooms so that you could have an extra bedroom for Kylie? Yes, we did. And does she then can stay in this third bedroom and does so when she's there with you? Yes, she does. And does she also have a place to sleep and toys and that sort of thing there? Yes, she does. And don't you also purchase for her, when you have her, all sorts of personal things like clothes and food and that type of thing? Yes, we do. And under the custody and support order, don't you have her approximately 25% of the time? Yes, I do. Okay, are you also buying her clothing? Yes, I am. It's easier if I establish a wardrobe for her at our home instead of having to pack up her or pack her up on school mornings with suitcases and worrying about losing or not getting the proper things back to the respective households. So I have been in the process of buying her clothing and things so that she can just have hers there and I can just pick her up from school. Do you have a college degree? No, I don't. Do you have any college education at all? No, I don't. Do you have any special licenses or certificates? No, I don't. And is your position clerical with buyer's mortgage? Basically, yes. I have no further questions of this witness at this time. Further questions, counsel? Briefly, when did you first start living with Mr. Stevens? June 1st. You didn't live with him in March at your apartment? No, I did not. Did he stay over there frequently? Once in a while. At that time, you had a dating relationship? Right. Okay. So we do have a word list. We've got Kylie, capital K-Y-L-I-E, Buyer's Mortgage, capital B-U-Y-E-R, apostrophe S, Mortgage, capital M-O-R-T-G-A-G-E. Paul Stevens, capital P-A-U-L, Stevens, capital S-T-E-V-E-N-S. -E and Mr. Neems, capital N as in Nancy, E-E-M-E-S. And that concludes our 140 Q&A test. Good luck.